The SAP demo shows how to integrate the View and Data API with an external database. In this case, we're connecting to an SAP database, but of course you can connect to any database that you like. So the basic sample here is that we have this model, which as usual we can manipulate as we wish, which is linked to a set of objects in an SAP database, which we have displayed in this table down here. To view specific objects, I can, for example, click on this tree view. If I double click, you see we actually focus in on the object and we show this property panel here. And when I look in this property panel, we see we have this SAP ID and we have a price. And this is the data that's been brought in from SAP, one of which is the price, which is 188. And when I go down to that ID in this table here, we see the price. And I can actually, if I wish, change that. Let's change it to 199. And I will just double click on this again. And we see that the price has now changed, just to prove that it's a live link. Uh, some other interesting functionality, if I just uh, home in on the main view again, is if I click this cost button and just wait a few moments, we're just querying the SAP database here. And we're, we're just generating a graph of the various items and their costs in the actual model. And when I hover over this, you can see that it's actually isolating different parts of the model. And of course, whenever I want to show the whole model, I just right click and select show model. And another way of accessing the data, of course, is if I just select on an individual component. Like, for example, here, I can isolate that object. And again, I can just go in and view the SAP data, or I can isolate individual objects like so.